Mama Chicken Y here. Who that? What up? Who that, y'all? <laughs> y'all never met her before. I'm just trying to make sure my video's on. Guys, this is my baby daughter. Say hi. Hello. I wanted to uh, share a little something different on my channel today, guys. Um, for all my wonderful, wonderful model chicks and model chaps. I want to maybe get y'all, let y'all get to know me a little bit better in 2019. You never met any of my family members because the majority of my family members will not be on the YouTube. But my daughter is a media person. She's in the media and all that other stuff. We'll get into that later. And some of you may know her and some of you may not. But anyway, I just want to say, I really want to come on to tell you guys, I hope you guys, this video will probably go up a couple of days after Christmas. I hope you guys had a really, really happy, happy holidays and everyone was safe and everything worked out well. We had a little situation on uh, Christmas Day with a with a family member, but everything turned out mm -hmm. okay, thank goodness. And maybe we'll tell you about that later, maybe we won't. But anyway, I just want to tell you guys on a serious note, have a happy, happy holidays. I hope you guys have a happy New Year's and all the best to you in 2019. We're going to be doing some things, girl. So right now, I'm going to introduce my lovely daughter. Oh, and my I have, I have two daughters and two uh, sons, so if you don't know that, and one granddaughter. So by virtual... Virtually, they're here because my daughter. If some of you watch my Instagram, uh, she go past me. Other, she gifted me with some Joe Malone, guys. Y'all know I love Joe Malone. I have a whole bunch. She brought me some a bunch of Joe Malone stuff, and my baby granddaughter brought me this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's so pretty, yeah, guys. Pretty. It's so pretty, guys. This is this little bracelet my granddaughter uh, gifted me. Look how beautiful that is. So, yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. And I just want to, like I said, um, maybe you guys get to know Amani a lot, a little bit better. And I want to thank you guys. Um, I have um, my regular subscribers, especially my regular subscribers who've been, my day ones who've been with me for a long time. I really thank you guys because you guys really hold me down. I have new subscribers from my girls' channel, B Loves Life. Hey, girl, my B Lovelies. Hey, guys, y'all hanging with me. I appreciate you guys. And also just regular new subscribers who come along. Come on, hang out with us in 2019. We're going to have a great ride. So for now, again, once again, I'm going to let my daughter introduce herself to you. Well, my name is Tatiana King-Jones. I, as she said, am a media person. I'm a podcaster. So I talk about geek and pop culture from the perspective of people of color on a show called For All Nerds. That's our name all over the interwebs, anywhere you search for us on social media. Our podcast is published on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Google Play Music, pretty much, did I say Apple Music? I think you did. I'm not sure about that. I think Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Podcast. <laughs> She's so, talking about Apple. I don't know. iTunes, whatever. The point is, pretty much anywhere where you listen to podcasts or listen to music, you could probably get our show. And like I mentioned, we talk about geek and pop culture from this per per perspective. She, she gets like me. See, I told you I get tongue tied with the English when I get on the YouTube. I don't understand this. Even though like I talk every week, like that's my job. But anyway, perspective of people of color. So we talk about gaming, movies, TV, anything, comics, anything within that realm from our perspective. So of course there's some entertainment thrown in there. There's some hip hop thrown in there. There's some politics thrown in there as well. And it's, I, I love it. I've been doing it for four years. It's one of my passions. Um, we also have a YouTube channel, For All Nerds TV. And that's when we do a lot of interviews and other original content. So definitely please subscribe. Please follow us and check us out. So I'm going to put her, the name of her a podcast, of course, I'm going to put that across the screen. Guys, I need you to go support her channel. That's my baby. You got to go support her as you, you guys support me. I really would appreciate it. I think a lot of you will enjoy it. Um... A lot of the younger folks as well will definitely enjoy um, what she does on her channel. Who was, who was, and she, you know what, she, she interviews, like I used to, back in the day, I used to work for CBS. That's a whole long, another story. I was in the entertainment business, but that's a whole nother story. But um, she gets to uh, interview, like I have done in the past, celebrity artists. And who, who was the most popular person right now that you, in, not that you, you interview mm -hmm. a lot of popular celebrities, but who was one of the celebrities that you really, really enjoy uh, interviewing? Oh, wow. Like, oof. we interviewed so many different people. Um, like, say, for instance, like, for right. on your channel, like, who, who are some of the people that they could actually watch you right. interviewing or listen to your podcast yeah. about it? Well, one of my heroes is Dr. Mae Jemison, the first black woman astronaut. And I got to interview her at Comic-Con um, last year. Not this one, but the one before. And that was amazing. Like, 
we talked about Star Trek and space and science and uh, engineering and I'm all into that. So that was amazing. That was dream come true. That was like speaking, that literally was speaking to my hero. Um, oh my goodness. We spoke to, like, like most recently we spoke with uh, Yaya Abdul-Mutin who plays Black Manta in the new Aquaman movie. And really like, when I say we talk to everybody, we talk to everybody across industries. So they can be actors, they can be music people, they can be scientists, like it's all over the place. And every interview we have, we, it's different than like a typical interview because we bring them into our world and we talk mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the things that we like as well, but we also try to dig deeper into what they're about. So yeah, we'll talk about the movie or the show they're in, but we'll also talk a little bit more about their family and what keeps them going, what keeps them motivated, what's their drive. Things like that. So mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it's been pretty amazing thus far. Now, one of my favorites that she did, I think you did this about a year ago or last year when you spoke to Mike Tyson. Oh, no, that, that was, was very early. That was, that was that very was early, early. Early on back yeah. in your career. Yeah, that, and, was, uh, that was like first year. I didn't know he was that much of a jokester. Oh, he was funny. And like he really liked, because I say my whole name, like I say the whole thing like a Tribe Called Quest, he liked it and he thought it was funny. So... He was like singing my name as we would go along. It was it was really good. Imagine Mike Tyson singing your name. Can you can y'all imagine that? He was yeah. How hysterical <laughs> that probably would have been. Is it still online? An interview that particular interview That's is still, still there. That's so still you there. can go to for all nerds. Is T that the, for, all for all nerds TV? Um, for all nerds TV. I'm gonna put nice. it. And you, that's a much older video, but you could see um, you could see that interview of her interviewing Mike Tyson as long as well. When you, when you did um, the Black Panther movie. Um, Realistic on my teeth, guys. <laughs> y'all know, y'all, my, my regular subscribers, y'all know that's what I do, right? But anyway, I got my baby here to keep mama in check. Um, mm -hmm. one of the subscribers, I'm saying Wakanda, I know it's not Wakanda. Wakanda. What's the name of the movie? Black <laughs> Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> when you interviewed the, the guest from Black Panther. Yes. Was it the entire cast or was it just a couple of folks? We did not get to inter interview the entire cast, but one of the main ones, that was an excellent interview, we interviewed Letitia Wright, who played Shuri. So, mm -hmm. and F Shuri was like, is a fan favorite. Shuri's my personal favorite. And like, she's cool. Like, a lot of people don't know that, even though she does it for fun, she knows how to rap. She knows how to freestyle. So, mm -hmm. we were talking a lot about that. Um, and like you said, like being able to speak to one person in the cast kind of leads you to be able to speak to other people. So right. we, we've made friends and, and, and have really amazing discussions with a lot of people like with, that she's acted with, mm -hmm. that, that other people I work with. Like it's really, it's really fun. Yeah. And, and you guys know when I'm on YouTube, I'm always bubbling, forgetting my words, using the wrong grammar. I don't do that when I interview celebrities, people, okay? When I'm on the YouTube, I just be me. But um, that's that's my uh, passion. I've done this for years. Uh, celebrity interviews. If you go on my Instagram, you may see some. I don't put a lot. I don't put a lot out there. I'm pretty pretty private with some things as far as my private life and what I do. And with my husband, he he prefers not to be on the YouTube. And certain things I have shared with you guys. I told you sometimes you know he'll give me something that I want to show you guys, but he prefers that I don't. And that's the only reason why. And if you check out my Instagram, I keep telling y'all follow me on Instagram as well. You may see some things there. But I just want to uh, share um, a new face, my baby. On, uh, she's always traveling, guys. She actually tell them about your trip. Where did you just come back from, my dear? Um, I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was in Thailand, Vietnam, and for a tiny bit, Japan. Okay. Yeah. How, what was your reason for going? Um, every year, every other year, my friend has a birthday trip where it's like friends from school. I went to Howard, by the way, HU. HU! So, um, we all get together and we go to somewhere special for a birthday. So, like, one year we went to Dubai. Um, and then, like, mm -hmm. last year we just kept it low-key, we went to L.A., but this year she wanted to go all out again. So, um, we went to Thailand, we went to Bangkok, we went to Phuket, which was beautiful, absolutely yeah. gorgeous, and I wish I was there right now. It was so fire. Um, we went to Vietnam, which was really cool, and then, like I said, my dream was to go to Japan. So, I have to have a separate trip just for Japan, because yeah. that's, mm -hmm. I, we didn't get a lot of time. We literally only had, like, three hours, and we had to go back Japan. to the airport, but... Right. We went to Shibuya, we went shopping, and like the experience is just like to be there in like tech city, tech capital of the world, and everybody looking so cute. Like, <laughs> I loved it, I loved it, so I wanted to go. Yeah, yeah. So she's all about fashion too, guys. Yeah. Fashion, the sneakers, the tennis shoes, or whatever you guys want to call it. She's got them all. Y'all will relate to that more than I can, but she's into all that. The tech, the tech <laughs> stuff, she mentors a lot of uh, young young girls as far as tech and different different things in the tech realm but um 
very very talented and like i said i would like for you guys to go to her channel support her on instagram as well so you have the instagram the podcast don't let me forget we're everywhere. everywhere we're everywhere, everywhere. We're every social Tumblr. media we're on twitter we're on instagram i'm sure you might have seen some of our our threads that happen whether you like it or not oh well you saw it that's what matters so but yeah we're all over and there's pretty much i think we're everywhere except you didn't frame me out the frame. oh sorry like we we no we're pretty much everywhere yeah yeah i think yeah. they're on every social platform that you guys could think of and those of you who like comic con comic con comic con that's what they do. They do a lot of all that. And um, yeah, we go to these events every year to cover them. So what that means is we'll go do interviews with, again, actors, voice actors. We interview cosplayers. Like our big thing is highlighting cosplayers of color. For those who don't know, cosplay is a short or amalgamation of the words costume play. And it's when, for instance, you'll see people out and about cosplaying as Spider-Man or cosplaying as Batman or Superman, things like that. It obviously goes way deeper than that, but just to give you an understanding of what that is. So if you ever, whether you're in, wherever you live, if you ever seen the videos from Comic-Con, you'll see people in all sorts of costume and outfits. And we try to focus in and make sure we get people of color and women and people in the LGBTQ communities up to the forefront in that. So right. it's, it's really cool. So And also, there's an amazing video that I directed um, for this past Comic-Con that, fe again, features cosplayers of color and all the intersections they're in. So it's on our YouTube channel again. Watch it. Um, I love it. Like, I, I love that the whole scene. I love the community. I love everyone who puts all their passion and their love in it. And I, I love covering it. Great. So she does a lot of these. I be doing stuff, y'all. Y'all just don't know. My daughter does a lot. I do a lot as well. I'm still, like I said, still also interviewing celebrities. Been to the White House a couple of times too, guys. Yeah. Some of you know, some of you don't now. But I can't tell you everything. I can't share everything. And also, my oldest daughter, wonderful, wonderful, who led the pack as far as my firstborn. Uh, she can't be on YouTube. Not that she can't, but it's preferable because of she has a high status. The type of job that she has, she has, she has a high security position. So that's part of the reason why a lot of my family members will not be on YouTube because of their positions in life, which is fine. So that's why y'all get to me. Why you get all of me and you get my beautiful daughter here. Oh, but anyway, high security. Oh, high security. She, she don't have a high security <laughs> job, guys. <laughs> I'm just playing. She is high security, though. Just remember that. But anyway, yeah, don't forget to check out her channel for All Nerds TV. Say your podcast. Run them down one more time for the peeps. For All Nerds Podcast on everything you ever listen to podcasts on, listen to music on, we're probably on there. Okay, so like I said, go check her out, guys. Make sure when you check her out or you want to leave her a tweet or you want just for Model Chick NY came to support you. We're going to hold you down for every, every especially women of color, uh, LGBT community, uh, everyone. We, we, we're here to support and uh, present, especially with the technology. We, we got to get up on that, guys. We got to make sure our, our girls and our boys are learning that tech business because you need to know what you need to know. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to tell you guys that, and I'm glad, I just glad that I was able to bring um, my daughter on to meet you guys and tell you a little bit more about me and uh, so my daughter as well. And on that note, I just want to tell you guys, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Continue to watch us in 2019. We're going to roll, guys. I'm trying to get up to 5,000 subscribers with your help. Share my videos on every social media platform that you can. Uh, also, uh, check out the description box down below. All the information will be in there as well. Um, what else? Am I forgetting anything? Anything they need to know? Um, I mean, follow me. You'll learn more. <laughs> yeah, follow her. At, oh, oh uh, my at on social media is at Tatiana King. And I'm going to add that so that y'all guys don't get confused. And if you do get confused, everything will be down in the description box. And I know some of you don't go and read that description box, but go down there, read the description box for more information about uh, For All Nerds and anything else that you need to know. And um, that's, it. that's it. So make sure you guys have a happy New Year's and always always say it with me always remember guys as you, you gotta, gotta be strong. strong i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye